Hunter x Hunter, episode 23. And he meant that. Like, he means everything he says. And you just have to go with it. Can we- can we pet Mike first? The X guards X duty Given all that he's helping them, it might soon become the X- X guards X duty Lamentation. <laughs> Lament. Pain. Oh, who knows? I'm- like, I'm kind of curious to see the family now. Does every door in this facility have to be eight tons? He's friendly. Clearly, I see gruff but gruff but kind. <laughs> Lira just went to 100 for no reason. I see. I, uh, the it's not the door. It's the garbage can full of bones. It's the teapot. His arm is still broken, but nothing is stronger than Gon's heart. I don't know how the show made that so believable without, without really any like, I don't know, they just were together, just felt natural that they were friends. Then of course they went through that trial together. Are you sure? Oh, he faced worse than doors. Damn, 50 kg. We can't train while you sleep? Why are we slacking? That is horrendously dangerous. I kind of want this, though. You need to put this weighted. Never mind. What's the challenge in the bathroom? All of their design points went into heavy objects and doors. And zero into like aesthetic, hallway aesthetic zero. Or is this a dungeon? It's a dungeon. She's wearing a mask because of the injuries he inflicted on her. How many siblings does he have? So yeah, Speaking of enjoying your job. Oh no, oh no. Miyuki, Miluki. He's that, that kind of mama's boy. He will. He will. He will. No doubt. For comedy. <laughs> Watch this for comedy. Can you take the vest off while you do this? Go and looks at his arm and tells it to heal, and it heals. Why is this such a good idea though? Why are my objects in my house not heavy? I've been wasting all this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a training montage. Must open a door. Shades of Demon Slayer trying to slice a boulder. Get to work. <laughs> That's insane. Isn't one of Gon's arms gonna end up way bigger than the other? I mean, it won't work until it works. The loyalty, though. Tch, so heartwarming. Yeah, there's gonna be a technique to it, right? First burst feels like the most important. He's warming up. I guess the, the vest might actually help create some weight. With Gon added to the mix, it might. Oh, oh, wow. It budged. That's so, that's all you need. That's all you need. Now you know it's possible. Now it's just cranking that lever with all your strength. T 
<laughs> he might end up helping, who knows. Doors! Testing game. That was close. Sort of He's a jerk. Jerk. He thinks he is the, the job, or he is the upper family. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm not sure if they're a benefit or not. Wow. That's gotta have done some long-term damage on your bones. Start again, start again, start again. Uh, the, the vest, the vest help? No, the vests are good, the vests are weight. Okay, there we go. Spoke too soon. Go you got one good arm. Or two good arms. I decided it was healed. I told it to heal, and it healed. Less, <laughs> less surprise, surprise chit chat. More pushing. Did they get through? Thank God those doors don't immediately slam shut. <laughs> and now the danger begins. That just sent him into a flashback. That's why I just decided to start working for them. We still haven't seen his father yet, as far as I, I can recall. Oh, it's the apprentice butler. No. Don't play their game, Gon, yeah. Yeah, stop playing these people's games. Enough of this. We've learned from the exam. Look super heavy. Bring it. Oh! That was cheeky. Gon's getting really good at taking abuse. <laughs> he got kind of rewarded for that that one time. I don't know if that was good. He's taking the <laughs> Borfin approach. I'll bet you I can take a hundred of these blows. Is she actually one of the few nice ones? Maybe she actually cares. There's a point at which just doing your job is not right. It's not it. It's not, not the goal. It's not an excuse for everything. I mean, I would go so far as to say it's never an excuse for doing what feels wrong. I see you've met Gon. We've got to find a better way though, right? I mean, the will is amazing. You can't just take beatings every time. We can't stop him. Trust us. There is no stopping him. Yeah, clearly. She has some relationship with him. There you go. There you go. Oh no. Oh no. She got sniped? What is that weapon? They are just older, warped, adult versions of all the traps I was talking about for Kalua, which makes sense given they're his parents. Big doubt, big doubt. Yoyaku, Tena in Haita Guntach. Dang, Sonomai Nitachi Sangata Saida no Gun, yeah, I agree. Aena, to you, 
Nah. Kiru nah, Akara. You see right past it. We know that's not true. Nope. Look, we didn't honor any of the rules. Who says we have to honor Lua's wishes? I'm going and I do what I want. He doesn't have to talk. He doesn't have to listen, but I'm going. The mom is someone who seems like she has a lot, but at the same time, nothing at all. Speaking of like clinging to worlds, she's got a warp and twisted one, and it's not enough just for her to be in it. She has to make everyone else live in it. I wonder if her resistance to Kalua having any conflicting opinions isn't because it's an existential threat to her. No wonder Kalua wanted to escape. Ideally, the things you learn from your parents are their virtues, their gifts. Like you take what they have and you carry it a step farther. You stand on their shoulders, use their strength as your own to, you know, make your mark in the world. At the same time, though this might sound cynical to say, some of the, the best things you get from your parents are their mistakes. As a kid, you're watching them, right? You're watching your guardians and they start out by default as heroes and then in many ways slowly fall from grace. And there's a turning point where you realize, oh, they're actually human. And that's a critical step in understanding, I think. One that allows for real understanding and, and sympathy, but it also allows you to evaluate the things you, you really don't like and don't want to become. And I think a lot of people end up forming very important parts of their personality on vows to not become the things they hated about what they grew up with. From personal experience, I, I very distinctly remember watching certain members of my family do certain things and, and thinking to myself, I'll be anything but that. Whatever happens, I will never, never succumb to this mistake. And I would say that's been of real value to me. There's a lot of learning in there. And I'm grateful for that even. Of course, as you get older, it gets more complicated because there are reasons why they're like that. There are reasons why people make mistakes. And you, you likely fall into those same mistakes yourself because you don't fully understand them yet. You just understand that you hate the, the results. It's such a classic thing to wake up one day and, and realize, wow, I'm perpetuating the very same things I hated or said I hated when I was a kid. The pressures of life, just being an adult human, understanding danger more fully, understanding stakes more fully, having more responsibilities. It's all pressure. It's got to be vented somehow, positively or negatively. But yeah, of course, Kalua wanted to get out because he's, as he's getting older, he's becoming aware of the narrowness of his family, their insanity, and he doesn't even have the perspective to say what he wants, but he knows there's more to it. And so he, he threw himself out of the family. And people who are really miserable, really petty, they don't want anyone to get out. They don't want anyone to surpass them because it unravels their story, their worldview, their sense of value. And in this case, it could also just be them wanting to use him for their trade.